Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the fabulous Mirage. This is the main, ev main event of the evening. 12 rounds for the undisputed heavyweight championship of the world. This fight is sanctioned by the World Boxing Council. The president is Jose Solomon, supervisor Larry Hazard. The World Boxing Association, President Gilberto Mendoza. The supervisor is Elijah Cordova. The International Boxing Federation, President Bob Lee. And the supervisors are Walter Stone and the Nevada State Athletic Commission. The chairman is Dr. James Nave. Commissioner Dwayne Ford, Dr. Elias Ghanem, Luther Mack, and Jay Nady. The executive director is Chuck Minker. The judges for tonight's match are Dave Moretti, Jerry Roth, and Chuck Giampa. The ring doctors are Dr. Flip Homansky, Dr. Al Capano, and Dr. William Berliner. The timekeeper is Al Bisek. And the knockdown timekeeper is Mike Lachella. The referee for tonight's match is Mills Lane. Ladies and gentlemen, when we opened the Mirage almost a year ago, we had one of the greatest opening acts in sports or resort hotels. Almost a year ago, he opened up the stadium, and now he's back as the master of ceremonies and your host. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to introduce to you Sugar Ray Leonard. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing in the red corner Wearing red trunks with black trim, weighing in at 208 pounds from Atlanta, Georgia, with an undefeated record of 24 0 with 20 knockouts. The number one ranked heavyweight contender of the world, ladies and gentlemen, Evander, real deal, Holyfield. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing in the blue corner, wearing white trunks, weighing in at 246 pounds from Columbus, Ohio, with a record of 30 wins, four losses, and one draw, with 20 knockouts. The undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, James Buster yeah. Douglas. Anxious moments as we get set. There is Evander, the real deal, Holyfield. Okay. Team check it. Come on out. Here is the referee, Mills Lane. You want to? You want to bring the mic over or not? You want to come or not? All right, here we go. Now, we've already been through the instructions one time in the dressing room. This is for the big championship of the world. Protect yourself at all times. Any questions from the challenger or his chief second? Any questions from the champion or his chief second? Let's get it on. Here we go. And Mills Lane will make a fight. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape and the only real number to look at here. The weight, 246 pounds for Buster Douglas, 208 for Evander Holyfield. Here are the rules. 10-point must system. No three-knockdown rule. No standing eight count as well. Only the referee can stop the fight. The fighter cannot be saved by the bell except in the last round. There are the judges, and there is the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. There is the challenger, Evander Holyfield. We are set for 12. And the bell sounds. Purdy. After a long wait, Holyfield finally gets his chance. And you don't see that difference in size that everybody talks about. The first thing that strikes you is they look about the same, except one man looks a little bit heavier. But there's not this huge size difference that everybody talked about. 
Douglas with five career first round knockouts. Holyfield with two. I don't think you can look for early uh, knockout action, although anything happens in a heavyweight championship fight. This is going to be a chess game for a while. The left hook by Holyfield. Holyfield wants to set that tempo fast. Remember, he wants to get in there. He does not want to let James Buster Douglas punch set with that uh, left jab and keep him off. Left jab right now is just hitting air. Buster's left jab is not working. You'll see Holyfield cross his arms a la Ken Norton when he gets inside to protect against the uppercut. As long as he's outside, he keeps his hands up. When he gets inside, he crosses them so that that uppercut that was so devastating to Tyson doesn't land. Round number one. Buster Douglas against Evander Holyfield. That jab missing by two or three inches. He's flicking it out there, but it's not hitting anything. <laughs> Vander throwing a hard hook that missed. Holyfield pressing the action as we expected. Has not gone to the body as much as we thought. Well, this is the first round. He wants Buster Douglas to get tired of missing with that jab, and then he's going to start getting under it. Right now, he doesn't need to because he's not hitting anything. Left hand got in by Holyfield. Douglas tried to counter right. Douglas stumbled, but I think he just stumbled over something in the uh, in the uh, canvas. It was not because of the hit. Also, he's not bouncing. He's carrying an awful lot of weight. As you can see, when he moves, his body jellies. You can see the jelly in his, his body, particularly his breast. Holyfield a bit short there. Holyfield the aggressor this first round. There's a right to the belly. No, well, he's going to be there all night if he can. He's just finding the range right now is Holyfield. And unlike the Tyson fight, Douglas has not been able to get the jab working early on. He has not established anything right now. He's just catching and going to Holyfield's tempo, which is what Holyfield wants. Holyfield wants to dictate the tempo of this fight. Holyfield said he will make Douglas fight at a pace he has never fought at before. Left. Holyfield said he was going to out jab him, and, he, and people said he doesn't have any kind of jab. Well, that was a good example of how he out jabs uh, Buster, who has not been able. On a right hand hurt Douglas, along with a left. That was a solid punch. Good round for Evander Holyfield. Let's listen in to Evander Holyfield's corner. You boxing beautiful. Triple, see, don't get no fight with him. Just box it, you understand? But just keep him thinking that you're going to raise hell, see? But just keep that left jab going in your combinations, you understand? Uh -huh. Keep him on outside. You don't have to go inside yet, right? Uh -huh. Because you got plenty of time. Just keep him on outside and keep pot shot him. I don't want that weight to be laying on you, right? Uh -huh. Now you're doing a hell of a good job, right? Now that's operating like a champ. Let's just be very, very, very alert. Mm -hmm. Because he's trying to set you up with that right hand, you understand? Uh, as you can see, Holyfield's the one that's doing the punching here. Buster's trying to get back, but is missing in punches because Holyfield's very difficult to hit when you're getting close. He rolls with punches. What looks like hits are not hits. Breathing. At first round, was Evander Holyfield carrying out his game plan? Stay on the outside, out jab him, try to start landing to the body, but above all, stay outside. Don't get inside to get mauled by this guy. Let him get tired first. We start round number two, scheduled for 12. James Buster Douglas, Evander Holyfield, the undisputed heavyweight championship from the Mirage. Again, Holyfield trying to teach Buster Douglas that he is going to out-jab him. The jab is what should control Holyfield if it's working right for Buster Douglas. Douglas with five second round knockouts in his career. Holyfield tends to come later. Very big body. That's one of the keys he talked about. Work the body of Douglas. Douglas can't keep him away with the jab at this point. Goes that jab of Holyfield again. That's in the game plan. That, as we heard in the corner, Georgie Benton said, keep that jab going. You're out jabbing him. Let's do that for one more round. And he's following the corner instructions of Georgie Benton. So far, we haven't seen any great uh, offensive 
um, aggressive uh, behavior on the part of Buster Douglas. He has not been leading. He has been following so far, allowing Holyfield to do what he wants to do. referees in the world and he is aggressive. Right hand by Fuller, field found the mark. He slipped a punch by Douglas and countered with a right hand. Another body shot. And what Douglas is doing is instead of counter punching when Holyfield comes into the body which when he's open he's grabbing him as soon as he gets in hoping some of that fat will uh, tire out Holyfield. Hit the closing seconds of round number two. Does it hold, Ferdy, that once you win the championship, you're 25% better? We'll find out. I don't know whoever thought of that figure. I distrust figures, but right now, nothing has happened with Buster to show that he was a better fighter than when he uh, won the title from Tyson. Certainly not as good so far as when he won from Tyson. He's not gotten his jab working to this point, and Holyfield has gotten inside and used the jab as well. Come on. Lane's warning, but he sees Douglas holding at this point. That could cost him a point. And round number two is in the books. Let's follow James Buster Douglas as he heads back to his corner. Trying to get things working. It's starting to get loose now, okay? Come on. You're loosening up. Watch your hands up now. A little more combinations, all right? You gotta, you gotta stay on the ground. You are not on the ground. Get the button the ground. Right here. One more time. The three punch. Jab right hand. Stick off. Right there. Right there. You got those three and four punches. You know what I mean? There you go. And, and, and All right. Yeah. You feel yourself, champ? You got to feel that. yourself. Come on. We need some more combinations now. When you get to the deep Concentrate. Just move and go to that belly. Work with belly. You hit him with the right hand. Come back with the left hook. Right into the belly. Don't we'll stand still too long. Don't stand one spot too long. Let's go, champ. We get set for the start of round number three. So far, Evander Holyfield has followed the blueprint. And you can see the difference in the corners, Bob. In the corner of Holyfield, it's all action and talk. They got a game plan. They're energetic in getting their guy going. In the other corner, they seem to be very quiet and seem to be very happy with the performance of uh, Douglas thus far, just telling him to throw combinations. Well, he hasn't landed single punches yet. You better start thinking to get the jab going. Holyfield talked about his corner. George Benton makes it back. There's a good right hand by Douglas. His first meaningful punch of the fight. That's the first hard right hand he threw. It didn't land exactly flush because Holyfield was moving his head away from it. But he, at least he threw something hard, and which he didn't do in the first two rounds. Now he's trying to land hard punches. Last two or three have been hard. Again, at the hand in the back of the head of Holyfield, Mills Lane is not above he's taking a point. You better watch that. That time by holding Holyfield. Right hand stuns Douglas. Caught him going in. He is not going to get up. There goes the heavyweight championship of the world. Mills Lane with the count. Holyfield has been Evander the Holyfield. heavyweight championship of the world. Evander Holyfield with a third round knockout puts away Buster Douglas. And Buster Douglas is still down. A perfect combination, just as he was getting aggressive. And what does this indicate, ladies and gentlemen? What was that in Tokyo? Was that just chance that he brought? Or was it a mirage? Or was it a mirage? Because Holyfield has done exactly what he wanted to do. The game plan was perfect, and the way it finished was just what Holyfield had predicted as far as his party was concerned. It was a perfect knockout. Now let's look at the corner. He's still not up. He's, he's, his eyes are flickering, meaning consciousness is now coming back. People should move back, give him space. He is still down. He has not moved except for a flick of an eyelid. He is up now. His, his eyes are up, open now. I don't think this is any any reason for concern. He's getting 
up. And Evander Holyfield with the stunning third round knockout bedlam here at the Mirage. He took the fight to Douglas, as you see. Him. Now starting to get up, being handled by his aides there. And it, the knockout thing is is crucial to remain down until conscious remains. Then by stages, get up. Get up a little bit, up to the, now they'll sit him up and finally they'll stand up. There is no hurry. There's plenty of time, because he's got the rest of his lifetime to worry about how he got onto the camp. Let's take a look at exactly what happened to him. It was a crisp punch inside. Ernie, let's give us the call here as we take a look at what happened in round number three. Douglas had thrown one good right hand. His only meaningful punch is see Douglas in his corner and the new undisputed heavyweight champion of the world Evander, the real deal, Holyfield. He takes it away from Buster Douglas. It appears Buster is okay. Now let's take a look. And the third person in boxing history to move up in a weight class and win the heavyweight championship, Bob Fitzsimmons. And Michael Spinks, let's take a look at that. it. Let's take a look at that. A look at that uppercut. That's what he wanted to land. The right hand, solid. He's already going down. The left hook misses, but you only needed that right hand. A picture, perfect right hand that Holyfield had practiced in case the uppercut would come in and miss. He, he landed exactly what he practiced. Let's watch it again. Comes the right hand, misses. Uh, he's trying, Douglas for the first time, there's the uppercut. And the right hand over the uppercut, out he goes. And he was down on the way down. He didn't need that second punch. Stayed down for at least two minutes. And of course, Holyfield will never again be said, has not got a punch. I think you can put that one to bed. You can also put down to bed that he's not big enough to be a heavyweight. Well, we mentioned Joe Frazier first won the title at 202 pounds. And we see Evander Holyfield at 208, a big right hand, puts down Douglas. That is all he needed. And in, in any angle that you look at it, you're looking at a picture-perfect punch of a man who has superior reflexes, who landed exactly where he wanted to land, threw the punch that he needed, and the steam was so much on that punch that Buster Douglas stayed down for a full two minutes. Well, the challenger has been favored 12 times to win the heavyweight championship. Evander Holyfield becomes the seventh. And this was the 35th time the challenger was undefeated. And for the 15th time, the challenger has won. Pernell Sweet P. Whitaker, the undisputed lightweight champion with his former Olympic teammate, Evander, the real deal Holyfield. Here's our ring announcer, Bob Falk. Ladies the and gentlemen, the, the official time, one minute and 10 seconds of the third round. And the new 